this is just a quick introduction for my new Smelly Cat video. Um, on this video, we are, or well, I am, just going to be showing you the CNC in of this Halloween style uh, black. And there's also going to be some footage of me adding the mica powder. I decided that I wouldn't go with the plain oiled finish that I normally go with. Um, I apologise, the very last section of this video, which is. Um, showing you the clear lacquer I believe I actually made the mistake again of videoing that in portrait so apologies for that but I hope you like the video leave your comments uh, let me know what you think and um, thanks for watching Okay, so what we're going to do, this is just the part of the video I want to show you where I've, I decided rather than uh, leaving it as just plain wood, which I normally do, or I, I often do, and then just oil it, I decided on this one, being Halloween-y, we would add some colours into this. So I've already test trialled it and added some uh, orange there into the pumpkins. This is using the, the resin technique of acetone and mica powder. I was going to go with acrylic paints, but I think they would have been too bold, and I just wanted to try and get a sort of, of a, quite a faint pale colour to them. Obviously, I've gone quite quite bold with the uh, pumpkins, but I want them to be the main feature of the image. So what we've got here is our image, and these are some new silicon mats I got from Amazon, which uh, work wonders for keeping the uh, table a bit tidier. I can post a link for them in the uh, description. So we've got some mica powders here in the tray and we're going to have some, we've got some acetone, this is acetone here just in the jar, we just need a bit of that in this plastic cup, don't need a lot, it does, does it does evaporate very fast uh, when you start using it. So we've got some red which I was going to just put a little tiny bit of red in the eye of the uh, bird some black for the bird some brown to go down these branches and then i put purple in there i do not know why and i think i put it in there just because i love purple um and i might put a little bit of gray just to go on the belly rather than having it all black so literally just tap a little bit of that out the pot there we go tap a little bit of that out the pot wetting up the brush with with the acetone and then I just dip that so there's a little tiny bit of orange I missed underneath here so I'm just going to get that quickly so I don't need a lot although I poured a lot um, let's get that you literally just dab it in the acetone dab it in the mica powder and then you can just uh, brush that on and then what I'm going to do is clear lacquer this I wasn't sure whether I should go epoxy resin over the top or clear lacquer and I think I'm going to go clear lacquer as it's less intrusive and shouldn't take off this mica powder. So that will do for the pumpkins. So if we just get a bit of brown here into the bird I'll probably uh, skip some of this once you get the idea so you don't get bored. That was not quite wet enough. Um, a bit of brown. Once it dries out, you can see where you've gone, and then you can just adjust it. Let's just get a bit of brown up the tree. 
once the uh, acetone's all dried out, you are left with the, the nice shimmer of the mica powder on there. I'm literally just highlighting some of these branches here with the mica powder. Make sure you keep wetting the. Uh, you can stir a bit of the acetone in there, stir it into the powder. Like I say, it will. It does evaporate fast, so you can stir a bit in, get it on the end of the brush. This is a new technique I haven't really tried before. Uh, especially not on wood anyway but so far so good we'll see what it comes like at, out like at the very end so I will not bore you too much I will now fast forward a bit of this so you can see uh, see how the colors come along I'm not going to add too much to it and then I'm going to then what we'll have to do is give it a clear finish at the end um, but as you can see there that's the, it's just giving it a sort of highlight of brown up the tree. Um, I'll finish the brown and then I'll come back and we can see how we get on with the uh, bird. So you're thinking, what the hell is he doing? So I've come back. It's very watery. I've gone with one well, watery acetone. I've gone with a lot of acetone in the uh, in with this black. I did the same up there. This is all trial and error. It could look dog awful at the end, but that is the uh, that is part of making things, I suppose. But try and be a little bit artistic. Added a bit of grey in the. Uh, once it dries out, it looks it, it looks better. I hope, I hope it does. Might need a little bit more black in there. This is a very acetone. Bit more black. I'm not going to add anything in around the rest of this back area. I'm just going to uh, get that with a clear, clear gloss or no, probably a matte, matte lacquer on there. So where it's highly drenched in acetone, like at the top here, it's hard to imagine. When the pumpkins were first done, they were very wet with the acetone. You really need to give it 24 hours to let that dry out. And then the mica powder just starts to come through on its own. And I'll have to give it 24 hours maybe, maybe, yeah, probably 24 hours. And then I will... Uh, Lacquer it. So I'm pretty much just colouring all of the bird in. It's got a bit of a grey belly. Um, this area definitely needs to dry out more, and the birds. The brown hasn't gone on there too bad down here. I think that's supposed to be a little bat hanging from the tree up there, so I've done in black. And. Uh, I'm not entirely happy with what what's happened up here, but that's supposed to be a little bit up there as well, in there. There we go. So I don't think the bird's going to need much more. Let's just blend it in a little bit with this grey belly. Get a bit of black over the grey. Should blend together a little better. Alright, there we go. I know, you're thinking, God, that looks awful. Maybe it does, maybe it does. Uh, I'm going to leave that to dry for, like I say, 24 hours. Then we'll come back to it. It'll... it'll uh, well, fingers crossed, will look better once this, some of this uh, acetone is fully evaporated out of the wood. And uh, when I come back, I'm going to clear lacquer it and we'll see what it comes out like then. Kind of think it might need to go in a frame, but there we go. Right, so the last part we've got to do here is just uh, stick some clear coat over the top.
um, hopefully it'll react to oak with the uh, mica powder that's on there so I've just got some Cobra this is a matte finish clear coat uh, I use a lot of these Cobra paints I've got loads of them over there they're pretty good it's a high pressure version so has a good output on it so let's get a little, nice little clear coat Get the edges as well. I'm going to spin it around, I can get the top. It's not going to need a lot on it, it's uh, probably two coats. I'll just leave that one to dry for a minute, and then we'll stick another one on there. And if we just get our last coat on there, hasn't really affected the mica powder too much. edges that's it yeah, it looks bad. leave that to dry and I'll show you the finished result uh, that will be the Halloween pumpkin crow carving hopefully you like it I added some white actually in the top here as well just to, obviously I've done his beak I added some white just to try and I wasn't overly happy with that top corner so I slightly changed it but I think it's looking pretty nice now let me know what you think it is now finished um, and dried cat wants to get in on the video as you can see on the pumpkins it's quite hard you've got to get in the right light where the mica powder was a bit well there's a bit less of it a bit less of density it's um it's gone a bit darker but i think that gives it quite a nice tone and shading so that is the finished halloween carving and uh mica painting let me know what you think um i'm still unsure on it i'm not sure uh but Hopefully you like it. I uh, thought I'd just try something a bit different there. And uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Leave your comments. Uh, subscribe. Share the video. And uh, don't forget to check out the Instagram. And thank you very much.